I'm head of school here, so I run the Runaway Bay School. And here we are determined and very passionate about leadership. And the team that I've selected to help you over the next three days, we've got Nikki Parker and Ashley Hines, they're the leadership coordinators in Helen Vale and the Pacific Heights. So they'll, at different opportunities, be sharing with you and really highlighting what leadership is for them. Then I've got my team of three, Tennille, Rob and Lachlan. So Rob's who showed you around, Lachlan who signed you in. And Tennille will be here um, very shortly. And then there's you. But what I want to do over the next three days is really flip that on its head. This next three days is all about you and your journey. I would love to be um, taken back in time and uh, have another go at being a school leader and a school captain in high school. There's a lot of unfinished business. So I can't stress enough that I want you to take this opportunity that's before you for 2015. Okay? You can redefine leadership and some of your principles have really urged me to challenge you that they want you to make a difference. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's about finding how you can actually make yourself more comfortable. And instantly, you go on from standing, flipping your hair, everything else, to being more comfortable. So you've got to find that. You're instantly, you instantly feel confident. You feel confident? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little bit. Little bit. It's all it's going. You've got five minutes to make an impact on somebody. So you've got to fire questions to them in that fight and center. You've got to get it so that you're actually building a connection with someone within that five minutes. So you've got to come up confidently. Always. Best tip ever. Look people in the eye. See them straight in the eye. And that shows that you're confident. Now if you're looking down like this, hey, how are you? Good. How's, how's stuff going? That's awesome. What do I look like? Do I look disinterested? Look like I'm bored? I don't care. But if I'm actually looking at someone, hello, how are you? Okay, hi, how are you? How are you going? Good, thank you very much. How's your day going? Nice and here? Good, that's great. And what's your week like? Eleanor. And, and how long have you been at all night? Year eight. Wow, so before that, where were you? Eleanor, obviously, that's fantastic. It's just as much on our agenda as it has been on yours, our legacy. Matt Jackson hit the nail on the head in almost every question he answered last night. Here's the analogy of a timeline. Timeline. Gough, Gough Whitlam's legacy on one end and Philip Hughes is at the other. We hope to achieve a balance between these two extremes, not only leaving behind a physical legacy, but we hope to also enhance the spirit and pride of the of our students which is how we've based our five ideas. Darcy and his math C brain found the formula for success. CRP cubed to remember our five concepts. Communication, relationships, promotion, participation, and perception. The five are heavily dependent on one another. Without communication, we'd be unable to form significant and effective relationships. With these relationships, we were able, we hope to effectively promote activities and increase participation in these events which are often held exclusive to students involved in our leadership program. Ultimately, we intend to change not only the community's perception of the school, but also our students' perception of our teachers and the opportunities and learning experiences available here in the Barclay Park. Under communication, we've sourced the ideas of meetings and open door policy between those in leadership roles and students and teacher opinion surveys was including students in PNC meetings. Students first teachers activities, forming proper relationships with our younger students, and working as a team will be instrumental in ensuring healthy relationships that we can work with. We'll promote every opportunity to everyone and this will hopefully increase participation in volunteer orientated activities and school events. Ultimately, combining these factors will engage all students in activities that are known too well to us. We pride ourselves in being keen of our students, although unfortunately this can't be seen across the entire school student body. The balance between tangible change and genuine caring is our approach to see our big kids, because each student has purpose and our school deserves pride. We accept that small things will make a big difference, therefore we will do the best we can where we are 